Well, tubers, here we are. Just a little short video to say, look what I've got. We've actually got a Nocta Matro Legend. I bought the one that was cheap near to me second hand. It's only done an hour's work. The guy didn't just didn't get on with it. Um, I put my other CTX back together, look. So um, that's back to normal. The actual chassis that was on that now is on the AT Pro. I still haven't finished doing that because that's 80 pro is a good detector but this Nocta macro I bought a couple of things online uh, I had it the other day I haven't actually used it much yet only asking about you but I had a new longer stem it was about 30 quid and a battery pack on it uh, I can't forget how much that was it was a bit more 70 or 80 quid that was to uh, so you, you can go and charge it up in the house uh, very impressed with the weight of it, I gotta say. And the headphones that come with it automatically, you just have to push that switch there, and the headphones will automatically connect or will not connect. Uh, I haven't got au okay fait with it all yet, but I've just been testing it out a little bit here before I go any with it. Very, very light, really good in the hand. Uh, if you can see that obviously I'm not brilliant at this thing at the moment so I won't try to be but if you look at my thumb is there there's a little thing there that's called the iron bias so if, when that falls up with the marks it's iron when it falls up that side it's not iron and you know it goes either bit either way it's not to 60 on the scale then you've got them four modes there but there's four modes in each one uh, then you've got all metal, multi-frequency, ground. There's a lot of different things on you. There's a job to get your head around it all. But what I am very impressed with, and you know I'm a big mine lab person, is the strength of the sound. Now, there's a lot of iron here where I was welding. There's bits of welding rods. And uh, it's finding signals here in between bits of welding rods. Very impressive, I gotta say. And that's coming from a long time mine lab user. I always go up and down here because it's all welding rods and old bits of cut off iron and steel. And this is on, it isn't all metal, it's on thick ground, it's called. So if you put it on, actually, my finger is there. Uh, I think that's the right one. Yeah, you can put it there on ferrous, and I think goes then the discrimination has moved up then to number 10 so it'll only should only sound off on the better targets now very nice in hand And then you've got uh, the various things on it. You've got park, one I'm in at the moment, and then another one, then beach, and then there's a gold one. And there's a lot. Let me try and get on that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That bottom one there, you change the frequencies. Look, if you can see there. That's multi frequency. And there's two, three, 4 kilohertz, 10, 15, 20, 40, multi-frequency again. And on the top there, I won't go into it, there's a lot better people than me at this. See that box? You can move the box about going from left to right. And this is the gold setting now. And then we go across again. Very, very, very bloody. What's that one there? It's a beach, hold on. Sorry, field I was in, this is park. That's got a but discrimination to about 11. 
There's a bit of a coke can there, look. So if we go into the next one over, which I did adjust the settings a little bit on. Sorry. It's park, I think, now. This one's got this discrimination. Sorry, I can't get it in the frame. Discrimination at 10 there now. And if I press that button, you can have all metal or ground, which is not a lot of discrimination. And you can just hear the background hum of the iron. That's how I hunt on the beach. Anyway. Right, I'm not going to go uh, into it too much because I haven't learned enough myself. But I'll switch it off now. Very light. Really looking forward to trying that, and it'll be good for Karen. Got my LCTX back going. Uh, there is a slight difference with this, I'll show you now. The original CTX, the handcuff used to slip, but now they've put little marks on there. And my finger is, look. And a different locking mechanism under here. So that won't slip anymore. So that's back to normal. And even though I liked the other way it was, you couldn't really put the 18 inch coil on it, so we got her back to normal now anyway. And then we got this Noctomactra le legend to try. I got actually good feeling about that now. I originally bought that for my missus, because I have showed it to her, she quite likes the thought, wanted to try it. But the others are too heavy, so um, that's quite nice, I'm looking forward to trying that. So just a short one. All the best. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll show you the up and coming videos on the legend. And we'll of course be going to the beach with this one. The great CTX. Ta-da.